All right, I got these two cue balls, and I was going to drill into them, so I wanted to show you guys what it's like drilling into one. It smells like fiberglass resin. That's what it smells like to me, so. There's some sort of a fiberglass resin in there. So, that's what it's like. And I'll show you right now in a second if I can run a tap in there. My goal is to, like, take this tap and tap that out because I want to, you can use it, maybe make a shifter or something like that. You know, like if you, you want to drill and tap on these, it should be able to be done. But you don't want to go all the way through. Bring it back in. Yeah, so that's what we started out with right there. Drilled with that cue ball. There you go. Yeah, so I was able to run a tap in there. I'll show you what I did. So, like, if you were to do this, you know, and you wanted to have, like, a pool ball shifter, like a eight ball, just run a tap in it. And what I did is, just like when you're tapping new metal, you got to keep backing it out. So, put it in a little bit, back it out a little bit, put it in a little bit, back it out a little bit, and then take it all the way out and blow it out because... You know, stuff gets down on the bottom there that, whatever it is, some sort of a polyester resin. Yeah, it looks kind of cool in there. That's what I'm doing. Don't ask what that is. It's just something you've never seen in your life. So, all right. Anyway, I decided to share that with you guys. Uh, talk to you in the next video. Hopefully it helps you if you're trying to drill and tap a pool ball. It can be done. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.